Hello and welcome to Eclectic Classes. In this very video, we will be studying about bimetal temperature sensor and field bulb temperature sensor. So before we start, let us go through few definitions. What is temperature? Temperature is the measure of average molecular kinetic energy in any substance. And what is heat? Heat is the exchange of thermal energy from one substance to another. This heat exchange could be completed by conduction, convection or radiation. When the two substances are held together in direct contact, then it is called conduction. When the heat exchange is completed by a flowing media, when the heat is transferred from one substance to another through a flowing media, then it is called convection. And when the heat is transferred in form of emitted energy, then it is called radiation. Now moving further, there are different temperature measurement devices which are used in industry like temperature gauge, RTD, thermocouples, thermistors or pyrometers. Today in this very video, we are going to study about bimetal temperature sensors and field bulb temperature sensors. These two devices are used basically in different temperature gauges or temperature switches. So how these two temperature sensors work, we are going to study in this very video. We know that any solid is having a tendency to expand when it is heated and the extent of expansion will depend on the type of material and temperature change and the size of sample. Mathematically, the expansion could be represented by the formula L equal to L naught into 1 plus alpha del T where L is the length of material after expansion, L0 is the initial length of the material before expansion, alpha is the linear coefficient of expansion of any particular material and del T is the change in temperature. We know that different metals are having different coefficient of linear expansion. So, with the same temperature change, different metals will expand to a different extent. For example, let us take two identical strips of copper and iron. Both are separately held in front of heat. Now, the same temperature change has been provided to both the strips, copper and iron. But we will see that even with the same temperature change, copper strip has expanded a bit more than iron. When small strips of metals are taken in account with temperature change, with the heat transfer, they are expanding. But as the strips are small, the expansion won't be this much significant that we will be able to calculate the temperature with expansion. So, this linear expansion of different metals needs to be amplified to measure the temperature because in bimetal temperature sensor we are going to measure temperature by measuring the expansion of the metal used in the sensor. As the linear expansion is small we need to amplify it then how to amplify it. Now what we will do we will take two identical strips of iron and copper and it will be bonded together. It won't be held separately. It will be bonded together and then it will be subjected to heat. Now what will happen? Both are having different coefficient of expansion. Both will expand but to a different extent. Now bo as both the strips are bonded together the differential expansion of iron and copper strip will result in a bending motion. Will result in the bending of the bonded strip. Then we will see that this bending has greatly exceeded the linear expansion. So now we have found a method by which we can amplify the linear expansion of metal even in small in small pieces of sensor and this bonded piece of two different metals is called a bimetal temperature sensor which result 
into a bending motion with change in temp and now how to use this bimetallic temperature sensor in case of a temperature gauge if a bimetallic strip is twisted over a long length and a pointer has been attached at one of the end that is the outer end then with increase in temperature this twisted bimetallic strip will try to untwist itself during this mechanism of untwisting the pointer will be moving the pointer will be deflecting and that is how a bimetallic temperature strip could be used in designing a temperature gauge now let us move to field bulb temperature sensor the field bulb temperature sensor is again based on the principle of expansion with increase in temperature a field bulb temperature sensor comprises of a fluid enclosed in a sealed system let us go through this diagram here a sealed system is designed by using a bulb a connecting tube and a bellow this sealed system is filled with a fluid now when this bulb is heated the liquid inside the bulb starts expanding so at that point of time the molecules of this fluid will start exerting greater pressure on the walls of the enclosing vessel due to this increase in pressure the bellows will start move and here we see that a pointer is attached at the bellows end due to this temperature change at the bulb end the liquid is expanding the expansion of liquid is resulting in expansion of bellows and the expansion of bellows is resulting in a motion at the pointer end this is how we can can measure the temperature using a field bulb temperature sensor there are few things which must be taken care of during the design of a field bulb temperature sensor like the tube connecting the bulb and the bellows should be of minimum volume let us consider a case where the tube is of not minimum volume and is of significant volume in that case what will happen when the bulb is heated the liquid inside the bulb is heated as total fluid is directly connected the liquid inside the tube will be also heated due to heat the liquid inside the bulb start expanding at the same time the liquid inside the tube will also start expanding but for a correct measurement we know that the expansion should be only due to the liquid inside the bulb and not due to the liquid inside the connecting tube that is why when the tube is designed for minimum volume even if the liquid inside the tube is expanded it won't result in an inaccuracy of temperature measurement so the connecting tube must be designed for minimum volume in some scenarios the liquid inside the bellows may also get heated due to this increase in temperature of liquid inside the bellows this liquid present in the bellows will also expand which will result in an inaccurate temperature measurement so the expansion of the liquid inside the bellows due to increase in temperature should be compensated for the correct temperature measurement and to do that a bimetallic spring may be deployed at the pointing mechanism end now as the change in temperature will be same at the pointer section and the bellows section the expansion due to the liquid inside the bellows will be directly compensated off by the bimetallic spring and that is how we can measure the accurate the correct temperature by using the field bulb temperature sensor 
so with this we conclude this very video hope the video was beneficial to you if you like the video please press the like button and post your views about this very video in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share the video if it is beneficial to you and if it could be beneficial to anyone thank you